technology, environmental protection, benefit the populace, deep plowing, localization, three win policy. Hello, welcome to Nangan third phase seawater desalinization plant. Before watching this film, at first, we will introduce you to basic data of Lianjiang County, Fujian Province. Lianjiang County is also called Mazu, which belongs to one county of Fujian Province, Republic of China. It is located in the northern Taiwan Strait, 114 nautical miles from Taiwan, facing the mouth of the Minjiang River and Lianjiang and Luoyuan Bays. It is separated only by a strip of water from mainland China and is a communication center for ocean shipping. Lianjiang County has four townships including Nangan, Beigan, Juguang, and Dongyin. Mean annual precipitation in the Mazu area is 1,162 millimeters, but mean annual evaporation is as high as 1,015 millimeters. In addition, each island is hilly with a small area and steep terrain, distinct, abundant, and insufficient rainfall. So, water resources are scarce. Actual water available to each person each day in the Mazu area is only 167 liters. In order to solve dehydration trouble throughout the year in Mazu area, meet the demands for sightseeing development and increase the living water level, the MOEA's Water Resources Agency included construction of the Nangan third phase seawater desalinization plant into its plan for improvement of water supply in insular regions. Our county government shall propel private participation in construction and operational plan of seawater desalinization plant to achieve the policy goal that the county government gives consideration to residents of insular islands. This plan shall be handled by means of the Act for Promotion of Private Participation in Infrastructure Projects and run as a BOT to bring in private capital and technology to establish one seawater desalinization plant with a daily output of 950 tons. Our county government shall also entrust the MOE's 10th River Bureau of Water Resources Agency to attract investment in accordance with Article 5 of the Act for Promotion of Private Participation in Infrastructure Projects and select the Capital Engineering Corporation as general counsel of this plan to assist with investment affairs, factory construction supervision, and operation transfer. Our county government signed an investment contract with GNF Water Technology Company Limited, which will be in charge of financing and construction. Ownership will be transferred to our county government after establishing the factory. Then our county government will entrust this company to operate and manage the plant for 20 years. After completing the seawater desalinization plant, it will be used to stabilize water supply for the Nangan area and provide high quality drinking water and act as a point of promotion for water technology for local residents and visitors. Next, we will introduce you to relevant systems and facilities of the plant. Seawater intake system, pre-treatment system, seawater desalinization treatment system, product water transport system, wastewater treatment, brine discharge system, automatic centrally control system, seawater intake system. The seawater intake system is the key to the success of a seawater desalinization plant. As long as adequate seawater is received, enough desalinated seawater can be produced. Considering that the tidal range of the Mazu region can be as high as 7 meters and the winter northeast monsoon easily damages intake facilities, the 10th River Bureau specially invited relevant experts and scholars to select the position of relevant systems through many meetings and discussions. Furthermore, most of the Mazu region is granite geology with a big tidal range and poor sea phase, 
causing construction difficulty of marine engineering. So, water getting workers use precasting methods and had a limited time before tidefall to complete construction and arrange water getting workers for this plan at 1.5 meter below the lowest water level of the past years to ensure water getting throughout the year. Also, a drain grating device was set up at the water intake to prevent foreign body aspiration. Solar alarming signal lights are installed above water getting workers to prevent fishing boats from approaching. Water getting workers extend into water pipes of the water intake to a length of about 50 meters. 315 millimeters of high density polyethylene pipe was adopted for laying. According to site terrain characteristics, pipe ditch embedding, reinforced concrete fixed block, cladding, or direct fixing on seabed lacolite were used to prevent water getting pipe from floating up or breaking. Water intake has three water sinking type suction pumps. One for standby unit, implementing automatic alternately operating mode for operation in turn. 4,800 tons of seawater can be extracted every day, which will be enough for the RO unit in the plant. Pre-treatment facility unit includes inflow channel, grit remove tank, equalization tank, flocculation tank, two settler tank, and UF filtration system. Inflow channel. Its function is to avoid inflow pipelines from instant impact on grit chamber, causing the grits to rise. Set up two sluice gates at effluent end of inflow channel in order to adjust inflow amount of grit remove tank. Grit remove tank. After gravel in seawater is removed via the grit remove tank, it will overflow and enter into the equalization tank. Set up water pump to quantify control method and deliver seawater into flocculation tank. After seawater enters into the flocculation tank, utilize coagulant and agitator to stir, enabling suspended matter in the water to form large scale colloidal feather and making it easier for sediment and elimination. In order to increase the probability that floating colloidal feather produces collision and combination, install incline pipes in grit chamber to speed up precipitation. UF filtration system. The UF filtration system adopts four sets of design. Each set has 24 membrane modulus, totaling 96 membrane. The casing is made of PP seawater salt corrosion resisting materials. Adopting external pressure design, material of filter cartridge is PVDF. Filter porosity is 0.05 mu. It enables sludge density index, SDI, of treating water to be less than three, effectively expanding the service life of RO desalinization unit. After pretreatment is done for seawater, then the highlight is seawater desalinization treatment system. The seawater desalinization units in this plan adopt the package equipment of American GE Company, including Stage 1 and Stage 2 seawater desalinization units and energy recovery plants. Seawater desalinization unit. This plan has three sets of Stage 1 seawater desalinization units with daily output of 500 tons. Two sets will be started up every time, and one set will be used for standby, which can be alternately used during maintenance to ensure the temperature of seawater is held within 8 degrees to 30 degrees Celsius, when total dissolved solids, or TDS, is below 41,000 milligrams per liter. Daily water yield should reach 950 tons. Stage 1 seawater desalinization units adopt 8 inches reverse osmosis membrane. Each reverse osmosis unit has six pipe shells, with each shell having seven pieces of reverse osmosis membrane, totaling 42 reverse osmosis membranes, enabling quality of producing water to be in conformity with requirements for current drinking water quality. Stage 2 Seawater Desalinization Unit Stage 2 seawater desalinization units adopt 8 inches reverse osmosis membrane. The reverse osmosis unit has a total of three pipe shells, 
with each shell having four pieces of reverse osmosis membrane for a total of 12 membranes, which can reprocess the desalinization water produced by stage one seawater desalinization units and enable quality of desalinization water to be better. Reverse osmosis membrane is full of many tiny holes. So seawater must be used to increase pressure to separate water molecules and salinity, and considerable hydraulic pressure will be produced when passed through the brine of RO unit. This plant installs ERI energy recovery instrument to recover and reduce water pressure of brine. Energy recovery rate can reach over 90%. Thus, not only saving energy and reducing emission, but also reducing the costs for water production. In addition, in order to enhance the taste of desalinized water, we have specially installed one remineralization unit for increasing mineral substances of fresh seawater. Product Water Transport System Fresh water has been disposed with RO unit and met the standard of drinking water quality will be first put into clear water reservoir with available capacity 760 tons for temporary storage. Embedded pipework with about 1.2 kilometers in length along transfer road of the plant delivers the fresh seawater to the distribution reservoir of storage water purification plant for the populace to use. Wastewater treatment during pretreatment precipitates of each tank and concentrated brine of seawater desalinization unit will be collected to wastewater holding tank via pipelines. Utilize quartz sand and rock to separate gravel from brine and discharge. Brine Discharge System For assisting dilution and diffusion of brine, this plan sets the straight line distance between brine discharge hole and water intake more than 500 meters. Brine discharge hole is placed at 3 meters water depth below the lowest water level line and adopt multi-point diffusion and jet flow type discharge. Overall length of outfall pipeline is 750 meters. Automatic Central Control System This plant adopts fully automatic centrally controlled management. Computers are used to detect water yield, water pressure, water temperature, and water quality at each stage. When reverse osmosis membrane and UF membrane become smudged, they will be automatically cleaned online. Regular automatic rotation changes standby units and automatically detects machinery energy consumption, energy consumption of whole plant, and quality of producing water to reduce required manual operation and improve quality of producing water. <laughs> This plan adopts promotion of private participation method for handling, in which land acquisition, financing and loaning, location selection for seawater intake tank, the field the brine discharge pipes pass through, construction failure due to severe northeast monsoon, and other difficulties have been met. Fortunately, through continuous communication, coordination, and wholehearted cooperation of our county government, the 10th River Water Bureau of the Water Resources Agency Capital Engineering Corporation and G&F Water Technology Company. All difficulties were overcome and the plant construction were smoothly completed, realizing the purpose of stabilizing water supply in the Nangan area. Water Conservation Advocacy As everyone knows, water is the necessary substance for maintaining life, the source of living, but it is absolutely not taken for granted. Look at ourselves. We use water every day, but never appreciate it, care, or cherish it. Instead, we call it tap water, meaning taking it for granted in Chinese. Thus, all people do not cherish it in daily life, waste it unconsciously. The result is our current increasing problem of insufficient water supplies. Water resources depletion, however, is the fate for each outlying island. The Mazu area 
has disadvantages including congenital, uneven precipitation, an unstable resource supply, and demand. It should also face the problem of increasingly severe eutrophication of water resources in the reservoir. Reasonable water consumption management will be one important task. No matter which government organization, enterprise, school, family, or individual, all should respond to water conservation movement so as to ensure adequate water and high quality water sources for application. Generally speaking, water conservation should be implemented for not only solving the problem of insufficient water, but also for protecting our environment. From the water shortages and natural disasters of recent years, we should be further recall a painful experience, reawaken new cognition for domestic water. Water is not easy to get. We should always realize that it is the water necessary for our lives. It is worth sufficient cherishing.